Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter, boom, 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 <laughs> review stuff. And I'm up early today. Early means 12.37 p.m. Because when you're a reviewer of the world, you choose to sleep in. I should start reviewing sheets, comforters, and pillows because that's where I have the most knowledge. In fact, my safe place is my bed. Anyway, my husband is at the pool already. He said there's nobody there. So I thought I would drive through Starbucks and get my coffee and get him his, he drinks that black, a Trenta black iced tea, unsweetened. Um, okay, this is my coffee from yesterday. I'm dumping out the extra. It, don't, if you're a hippie, don't come for me, okay? It's just, it's gross now. So anyway, but anyway, he drinks a Trenta black iced tea, unsweetened, no water. But I thought I would try the dark chocolate, cold foam, cold brew, cold madness, cold of the world. Because yesterday I tried the cinnamon um, almond milk one, which was good. I liked it. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5. So I thought I would go through Starbucks today and we would try the dark chocolate one and see if it's any different. I probably should have compared them on the same day, but I thought, you know what? Two different drinks, two different videos. <laughs> I think my palate can remember what it tasted like. So anyway, there's like a lot of cars here. It's like a lot of people working at the Starbucks or something. I don't know, there's not a lot of people going through the Starbucks. But anyway, of course this car's gonna pull through right before I do. Yes, of course I had to. So anyway, how are you doing? How are you doing? I was thinking about this morning when I woke up. It's 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, if you celebrate 4th of July. I was remembering past 4th of July, like when I was growing up as a kid, and I was always with my dad, I think, because my dad had a boat in Saugatuck, Michigan, which now is like, kind of like the, uh, what do they call it, the um, Provincetown of the Midwest, <laughs> you know, but like back then it wasn't. <laughs> By Provincetown, I mean very cute, you know, like uh, stone streets and very gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's Provincetown, but it wasn't back then. Saugatuck, when I was growing up, was very much a towny town. It was like Amity and Jaws, which was kind of you know, even added to the fun even more. Please hold. Welcome to our Starbucks. How can I help you today? Can I get a Venti iced coffee with one equal, please? <sighs> for sure. Anything else uh, for you? I like that sigh. Yeah, I actually, <laughs> I need to get. Oh, my God, Peter, we did our research too. You did what? <laughs> Well, we found out who uh, Donna Summers is. Good. <laughs> Did you look? We all felt bad, so we all looked, at, looked her up. <laughs> I used to roller skate to her. Okay. And then I also need to get a Trenta Black Iced Tea. Oh. Unsweetened. Unsweetened. Okay. With no water. No water. Gotcha. Okay. And then I also need this dark chocolate foam cold brew deal. Oh, yeah. What size did you want that one? Let's just get a tall. What, can you tell me what it's called, please? It's the uh, cold brew with dark chocolate cocoa almond milk foam. Lord. That's different than the cinnamon one, right? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's the, uh, it's still like the, the cold brew doesn't have any syrup in it, but the foam is different. It's like, uh, it's mocha, cocoa powder, and then almond instead of vanilla and cinnamon. We'll do it. Let's do it. Alrighty. Just those three for you? Yeah, three? that's just those three. Yeah, that's it. Alrighty, it's gonna be 11.94. Well, thank you. 11.93 on coffee. Whenever somebody says mocha, I always think of Mocha Montrese, who's like one of my favorite Miss Continentals of life. <laughs> if that just went over your head, don't worry about it. Hi, right, how are you? Wonderful. Look at all your pretty cups Hi, sitting right out there. Well, hold on a second, I'm Some pulling up. Pops of color. Okay. Awesome. Thank Fran. Thank you for being a friend. Down the road and back again. Do you know that song? I, that's a My heart song. is yeah. true. I'm a pal. You're a pal and a confidant. Okay, so you guys looked up Donna Summer. He said, "Good." Uh, I was not here for. You that. weren't here for. I did was, you know? Do you know who she is already? I know who Donna Summer is. Okay, yeah. thank you. Oh well, yeah, my parents made sure. Oh, yeah. thank you. That makes me feel so much better. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say my parents are real old and I mean Don't say that. That would no, make that you wasn't. feel better. <laughs> no, we don't need to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Josh <laughs> better not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What time do you guys get off today? Five o'clock? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, they're making sure like I'll be off before the bed in general. It's nice they're making sure we have a little time. Good. Just yeah. spend with your families and yeah. stuff. Good. 
whatever we're able to do. It seems like there's a lot of you working here today. Have you been busy? This is, it's been a really busy morning. Yeah, um, I think a lot of people are grabbing stuff like on the way to things and stuff. Do you have any plans? I'm going to the pool. Hey, is that a, is that's that, a good plan. Yeah. Oh, it's so hot out. It is hot. It's felt like every time I've opened the window, it's raised a couple degrees, you know? It wasn't it's nice. Bad, it says it's 88, but it feels hotter. It's, it's, de I mean, it's probably like that base tap. And right. It feels like 103. Yeah. yeah. There you are. Awesome. Bye. Bye. Hey, oh, that thanks. looks good. Thank you so Have much. Fun. They're always so happy and nice. I love them so much. Oh, look at this. This kind of looks so good, doesn't it? I don't know about the foam on top. Kind of is already melted. I'm not complaining about it, though, because, like I said yesterday, I don't love that foam always. Oh, my God. We came through at the perfect time. Can I just tell you? There are one, two, three, four people waiting to go through this line here. Honey, I don't know what you're trying to do here, but I'm going to go through you, okay? Oh my god, it's my friends over here. I have to say hi. Hold on a second. Oh, shoot. Well, I was going to try to say hi. Slow down, sister. <laughs> Are you in a hurry? I want to see if this is my friend. I don't think it's him. It's my friend Sam. Is it him? No, because in the back seat. Or, is that him? Anyway, I don't think so because he has boys and those are look like girls in the back seat. Anyway, um, he and his wife are so nice. They're like one of our really good couple friends. Okay, can you even see me in this light? We're gonna try this in just a second. But anyway, so in the summers, I used to go to on like I would spend Fourth of July with my dad in Saugatuck, Michigan. I think I've told this story on here before when I did that bomb pop thing. But anyway. This one summer, so we would take the boat, like we would go to this, it was called the Cove. You would go this down this long canal, and then it would lead to this cove. And this cove was like real shallow, and everyone would dock their boats, and then you would just like hang out in the cove all day long, and the kids would like swim, you could like swim in from the boat. It was so, like so shallow and so low. And then everybody, you could like swim into the shore, and people would like cook out on the shore and cook out on their boats and stuff like that. And that's where everybody would just kind of hang out. Not just on 4th of July, but all the time, right? Well, we got leaving late that day from the dock, and like everybody else had left before us. And the marina was kind of separated in two. Like their sailboats were on one side, and like the, the power boats were on the other side. And we were like on this, because we had a sailboat. My dad had a sailboat. It was, uh, so anyway, <laughs> it's called the Forever Young. So, um, we, uh, so we were on the sailboat side and he was on, it was a, I think it was a 37 foot Watkins. Is that, is that a sailboat? I think that's what it was. But anyway, so this woman that her and her husband, they were from Chicago, I think they had a houseboat and they were always screaming and drunk and getting yelling and all kinds of stuff. And, um, so anyway, like her husband left her behind. Like they'd gotten real drunk and started yelling at each other. And I remember she had like one of those bathing suits on that was like, you know, like all one piece and then it was like a skirt on the bottom. I used to love those so much. And I, the true story I did, I thought those were so glamorous, like Esther Williams. But anyway, so she, like her husband left her and they were screaming at each other and whatever apparently. And so she was crying and my dad's like, well just come on the boat with me and we'll take you out there, right? Because he had no clue what was really going on. So we get out there and I don't know why I remember this man having this toupee that was flapping in the wind but I totally do but anyway we go out there and um, she's like I remember my dad because we would go up there on the weekends and he would stop at the bookstore on the way and he'd say you can buy whatever you want to buy and so I had bought this Judy Bloom box set and it had are you there God it's me Margaret and I was so excited to read all of my books okay about super fudge and all that kind of stuff and I go down into the basement, or into the, like, I was upstairs with my dad, you know, like, on the deck, when we got to the, the, to the cove, and I go down below, and I was like, she had opened my books, and I was like, she's opened my books, and she was down there, and she was crying, reading, are you there, got it to me, Margaret, I was bitter, I was like, those are my books, I had to stop it, because I started going into a whole different arena, me talking about books, and all that kind of stuff, so anyway, so I was better because <laughs> she was reading my uh, Judy Bloom books. Are you there, God? It's, it's super fudge and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, then she kind of, she pulls herself together, right? And she comes out and she's like, you know, 
doing good and she's ready to move on with her day. My dad's like, okay, finally we can get her off our boat, right? And uh, she comes out from the deck below, okay, into the cove, and her husband's driving by on his houseboat with all these topless women, and they're just waving at her. And she's like, ah! She starts crying again, and so we had her for the rest of the day. We'd take her, our day was ruined. I think she threw my book in the water or something. I was not happy about it. Cheers. Oh, wait, I need to get a thumbnail. Let's do the little Starbucks thing at first. I need, like, a new thumbnail post, don't you think? <laughs> mm. Kind of tastes like uh, biting into baking <laughs> chocolate, or what's that? Is that called ba baking chocolate? Mm. 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 You know when you get those miniatures and you get the dark ones? <laughs> I don't like them so much. Mm. It's sour. <laughs> it's real sour. I can't do her. I can't. I can't. I can't. It's so, it's so sour. Mm, it's sour and tart. I mean, if you like chocolate, you probably like it. It tastes like like a <laughs> baking chocolate is what it tastes like. <laughs> Just doing a review. Oh, this is so horrible. Okay, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a two point two because that's just what entered my mind. <laughs> Thinking of that lady on the boat. My dad has always had like the worst luck in the world when it comes to stuff like that. <laughs> oh, I've got to call him and tell him about that. He'll be dying laughing. Anyway, I'm giving this, I'm giving her a two out of two. She sucks, okay? <laughs> She's horrible. Don't do her. I gave her a one out of two. <laughs> you could cook with her though. Ooh. Sour lady. I don't like her. Anyway, one, I'm giving her a 1.2 out of 2. That's my final decision. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.